iMessage can be finicky. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you send a blue text message bubble and sometimes it switches to green. Now, if you're having issues with your iMessage, I'm gonna show you how to fix it for good. The first thing we're gonna do is head into your settings. So open up the settings app on your phone here. And now we need to get to your messages settings. So scroll to the very bottom and we're gonna tap on the apps option at the bottom. From here, all we need to do is get to messages. So scroll down again until you get to this section 4M and tap on messages. We're gonna do a few different things in here. One, an easy option is just to toggle iMessage off, wait a few seconds, and then toggle it back on. And you'll see right under it says waiting for activation. So this means that it is reinitiating your iMessage and reactivating it. After you've done that, you can see send and receive here. So we're gonna tap on that and you can see I have it set to just my phone number. But if it is just your phone number, you can also try to send and receive messages through your email address as well. So sometimes this helps. So let's tap on your email here and then start new conversations. You can include your email as well or your phone number. So now you have an option to both use your phone number as well as your email to send and receive those iMessages. Again, a lot of times this helps. Now, if you don't see various options here on your iPhone for sending and receiving through an email address or a phone number, you can always go back to the very beginning of your settings and tap on your name at the very top. After we've done that, you'll be able to see a bunch of information. We're gonna choose the sign in and security, that second option there. So tap on sign in and security. And now you can see at the very top is email and phone numbers. If you don't see an email and a phone number that you wanted to use to send and receive those iMessages on there, just hit the add email or phone number and then just add it directly on here. Now we've gone through the process of doing that. Another really helpful thing to get that iMessage working is just to restart your phone. So within the settings, you can tap on general, scroll down and then just tap on shut down to turn your phone off and then reboot it. You'd be surprised how many times this fixes bugs or glitches. You can also press and hold the volume up and side button and then just swipe to turn it off. After we've gone through that process of turning everything off, there are a couple different things that we can do in your settings as well. From here, you can see I'm at the very beginning again. I'm just gonna tap on the general option towards the bottom. And then I'm gonna tap on software update. A lot of times bugs and glitches are fixed through software updates. So if you haven't already, just update to the latest version of the iOS operating system. You can see it's currently iOS 18.6. After you've done that, you can go back out of here, but still within the general settings. Scroll down, tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on reset here. And from here, we're gonna choose to reset all your network settings. This will bring all of those network settings back to the factory default. A lot of times, again, fixing bugs or glitches with your iMessage not working. So just enter in the passcode for your phone here and hit the reset network settings. If you go through all of these steps and it's still not working, the last thing I would recommend doing on your phone is opening up a web page here and you're just gonna type in, is iMessage down? Because sometimes it is down. You can just go to down detector here and see if there's a big spike in reported outages for iMessage. Potentially it's not an issue with your iPhone, but it's an issue with Apple's servers themselves. Now, if everything looks good here, the iMessage servers are not down. You've gone through all of those steps on your iPhone. I would recommend taking it into an Apple store, have them plug it in, run some diagnostics, see if they can find out if there's a software or a physical issue with your iPhone themselves, and they should be able to help you at that point.